A special thanks to Decorably for sponsoring this video. After 15 years of having the same classroom theme-ish, I am finally changing things up this year. I'm a little excited and nervous. I've pretty much stuck with a similar theme throughout the years. But in this video, I'm taking you along and sharing the beginning stages of planning. And I'm gonna share with you how to plan visually when you can't actually be in your classroom. If you're new here, I'm Rachel Vincent and I love sharing ways to help teachers simplify their classroom and their teaching. So like I said, I've had the same theme ish for the last 15 years. Of course I've changed things up, but pretty much I've had bright colors with pops of black and white. And then two years ago, we had to take everything down because they were painting our rooms. And so I wanted to tone down the brightness a little. So instead of having like bright borders, I added the eucalyptus border. But I still had very, still much bright elements. Last year, I started taking out some of those bright tubs and organizers and things and replaced them with black. So my students all have black tubs instead of the different colors. I used to call each table by a color and now I do numbers and so I've just slowly moved away from that. So that brings us to now. Fourth and fifth grade is moving into the brand new wing that just finished building. Everybody in our school shifting because we're all sort of shifting down, but our classrooms will be brand new. I felt like with a brand new classroom, I've never moved into a brand new classroom before. I wanted to do something different. I want to also do this on a budget. I do not have a whole lot of money to spend on a lot of extra things. My carpet staying the same, my couch will be the same, but I want to take out all of the bright there will still be some I do have a lot of colorful baskets and things that I've purchased over the years that I'm not going to replace most of them are, are going cabinets and you can't see them anyway but there's a few that get pulled out that I need to use I'm just not going to spend a whole bunch of money replacing all of that if I could go back and tell my younger self it would be to get all black I love the look of white but white just gets so dirty in a classroom that I just can't do it. No matter what your classroom theme is or color scheme, there are some amazing already made decor out there. And that is where our sponsor for today's video comes in. I would like to thank Decorably for sponsoring this video and to thank you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. First, can we talk about how beautifully packaged all of them came in these nice, pretty envelopes so I know they're not bent. The extra step that you guys took, good job, Decorably, good job. Math posters for upper elementary sometimes can be really hard to find. You typically can find the real easy ones for ba mostly for primary and and then it like jumps dramatically to higher level bath for like middle and high. So finding a good set of these, I have already looked through them and I pretty much can use all of them except maybe one. These are perfect for my fourth grade classroom. They are not over bright. They have some color, which is sort of the look I'm going for this year. I'm trying to dial down the color, but I don't want it to be gone completely, especially in the anchor charts and posters that students use for learning. But they have other, they have real bright ones. They have other themes. They have primary, more primary geared ones. They have some higher level, high school, upper level ones. Decorably has such a range that, and they're so quality, like these are thick that, I mean, and they're not crazy expensive, which is what I really love because you know teachers are on a budget. The next thing I got was a whole calendar set. Decorably knows what teachers really need. Again, it comes with the glue dots. It comes with a little paper of how to use it with and without their background. Not only do they send you the background, it's also made of that thick poster, just like the math posters. Like this is not going to tear. It's like laminated on one side and not the other, like it's quality. They also send you the border. So this is like a thin border. So this is perfect if you don't have like bulletin board space for your calendar, but you wanna make a bulletin board, this would be great to put on the wall to create your own bulletin board or just use this right on your bulletin board. It's gonna last a while, I love it. I got the, I think this is like a called farmhouse, but it's just less color and it's got a lot of greenery, which is sort of the look I'm going for this year. But they have bright colors, they have pastel colors, they have all sorts of themes so you can find what fits your class. So this is the calendar 
calendar and then these are the little pieces that go on the calendar and then they it even comes with so many holiday pieces that you can fit on there and it even has things like for school the hundredth day of school there's one for the first day of school I have little blank pieces so that you can add whatever you need based on your school of course you have your months of the year it comes with years and it even comes with these blank pieces that you can customize to use however you need I don't know for sure but I feel like you might be even be able to use like a dry erase marker on that then it comes with a little seasonal poster you've got the days of the week this is great for your primary grades the days in school I have a like one of my class jobs is to change our calendar and update it so this would just be something fun that I think they would enjoy doing I don't think they necessarily need it for learning but then it comes with these cute little numbers to create your days in school which is really cute plus it also comes with all these fun like little leaf accents so I'm assuming that the other themes would have its own little accent pieces and again like I said it will show you like how they decorated which sometimes you just need a little bit of help of how to use those extra pieces so I love that they include this they also have like birthday sets and different things to create different bulletin boards all in the same theme so you can make everything match really love that then they have bulletin board set that just have different themes there's different seasonal ones I got the construction theme one because our whole school is doing a construction theme in the hallway. There will probably still be construction happening in our school building when parents come for meet the teacher and possibly even on the first day of school. Typically each hallway does a different theme. Like we've done space for the past few years in fourth grade, but we are doing construction for the whole school. So I got this little construction theme set. Again, they give you all the ideas so you know how to use the pieces. I just love that everything they include. And I feel like I keep saying that over and over again, but I'm just so impressed because sometimes you get things and you're like really that's what I got or it's all bent like that's not gonna look good on my wall they provide the background you can use it with this or without I really like this because we'll probably just use this on our wall in the hallway and it also comes with the border which I love but you know what else I could do I could also put this on our like we have those little bulletin strips outside our those would be cute on our hallway hmm I kind of like that idea it just has my brain twirling of things and it comes with all the fun accents the title of the bulletin board is constructing a brighter future future which is just adorable and what I really like is it's cute and I still think it works for fourth grade so it comes with all these little bulletin board pieces I'm loving the little bulletin board guy whoop pulleys and different things and just so so many cute pieces they have so many different themes you'll want to check out all the different things they have what I also really like especially with like the poster sets like the math and these that I'm about to show you is they let you see all the different ones that come in the pack so you know exactly what you're getting I just love that about them so this set is called their mental health set and I'm really excited about this because I don't necessarily have a calm down corner but I do have different desks around the room that we call our sideline spaces so students are allowed to sideline themselves move themselves away from their group because we sit at tables when they need to focus or when they're just they realize that they're talking too much and they just need a new space. Sometimes I ask a student to move there because I need them to focus and they're just not able to do it on their own. So I have two spaces in my current classroom. I wonder, I don't really know what the new space will look like, but even if I can't put these around them, these are just great to like maybe hang even in our ba bathroom stalls in the new building. Just, they're just great overall. It just has some great positive messages like you're doing great. And then there's things like check in with yourself. Thoughts are not facts, your words matter, a growth mindset chart, believe in the power of yet. Some of these, cause I feel like I have a lot of conversations, especially this growth mindset thing and this power of yet. I have these conversations with my students in my small group table. These would be really good over there. What I love about them is they, again, are not overpowering with their color. They're this sort of pastel. They have other, again, they have so much. They have other ones that would could fit your classroom theme if yours isn't anything like mine. There are so many options. The links for all of this that I showed you are down below, plus a few extra things and just the link to their Amazon store because they have, like I'm saying, so much. It is such good prices, but you also get a code to save even more 
more because that's how awesome Decorably is. Thanks again to Decorably for sponsoring this video and to you for supporting me when I have sponsored content. Okay, bonus, because you know when things show up to your house and uh, you wanna look at it, but then you have to carry it to school. And these have a lot of little pieces, especially the bulletin boards. These like envelopes that they sent them in are very thick and high quality and everything's gonna slide right back into it. So taking it to school will be such a breeze and I won't drop any of the pieces on the way. Whoever's in charge of their like putting things together must have been a school teacher because they know how to do it. What I'm gonna do is take you over to the computer now and show you what I have come up with for my classroom theme this year that will hopefully last me until I retire because I did finish year 20 so I have I'm getting there and then I'm gonna show you how to create your own mood board. I'm gonna show you my mood board that I created for my classroom. Okay here is my mood board for what I I am wanting to do for my new classroom decor. I have a lot of black and gray furniture and this is actually an image of the carpet I have in my classroom. So I have a lot of these pieces already and so I'm really just wanting to dial down that bright color and so I am leaning towards these greens. I am going to continue to have color that will be in like our classroom anchor charts and different posters. I'm not completely going away from it but as far as like bulletin boards and just any sort of accent decor pieces. I am going to be using something along these lines. So I'm going to show you how I created one of these mood boards. So if you are interested in doing something similar for your classroom, it's real easy. I am creating in Canva. It is a free design program that creates all sorts of amazing things. You can design, I mean, so many different things. The fabulous thing about Canva they have mood board templates that you can totally use, but that's not the fabulous thing. The fabulous thing is you as a teacher can get a pro account using your teacher credentials. So you will get access to all the features. The free version is just as fabulous, but if you want to go ahead and get all of those pro features, then sign up with your, um, as an educator. So I am just creating in a presentation just so I would have this wide background. All you need to do is think about what you want to use. So I started with my color palette. So I just inserted a circle and then I just copied those three colors. If you're going to do more color palettes you can. So let's just start with four and we're going to make those a little bit smaller so that they fit. And then all I did was I googled color palettes and um, the first one was like to create your own but this one had already ones created. So this is the one I clicked on. Honestly you can do any of them. And then I went and I clicked I found earth to find because I wanted more neutral nature type colors. So let's create something a little bit different. Let's go with maybe a rainbow theme and see what we get. And just find a color palette that you think you would like for your classroom. Let's maybe try, is there a maybe spring, maybe more pastel? Okay, so I'm not finding anything there. So all I'm going to do is come up here and I'm just going to type pastel and see what we get. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do pastel rainbow. I kind of like that one. Let's just go with this one. So we're going to download this image and it shows up in our downloads. And so all we're going to do is come over here to our classroom design and we're going to drag this right into here. And so what this does is allows you to, it picks up any images or it picks up any colors from them. So when I click on one of these, I want to click on this color and you can see down here, it pulled in all the colors. So I am just gonna change each one of these to a different one of these colors. So you could do it that way. You can also do it, let's say you have, you already know the border you want to do. So let's just Google pastel bullets and border. And then we're gonna go to images. Okay, let's say this is the border you want. So I'm going to copy this image and paste it in here. This is the border I want. So I actually have border here that I chose. So I'm just gonna crop this. I'm clicked on, I'm gonna come up to edit photo. I'm going to crop this so that this piece is not there. So this is the border I want to use for my classroom bulletin boards. And now these don't really match. So in order to make them match better, cause this is gonna be my color palette, you can see here it pulled it from there. So I'm gonna start with this one. We're gonna go for the green, the orange, and it's not pulling this blue. Okay, so I just pulled in another one from that collection to get another color for the yellow. But honestly, like as you go through and decide on different things you want to use, then we can use. So maybe this is your bulletin board, you got your color palettes. And so now you're like, what else would I want to include? So 
I'm just going to Google pastel classroom decor and see what we find. There's going to be a lot of things, but you have look at all these different things up here. So let's say maybe you want to do this cute little tassel. So I would just click on it. You can purchase it, but we're just putting it on our mood board because this is what we want in our classroom. We just want this vibe, not necessarily this actual piece. And so you can see it has a white background. So if we go to edit photo and then background remover. So now I have that. Maybe you're going to, maybe you already have this. You're going to do some, let's say pastel organization containers. Maybe you already have these. Maybe you want something similar in your classroom. So just find something that you feel like would fit what you want your classroom to be. So I think I'm going to just go with this one. We're going to copy the image and then come over here and paste it. Okay. So sometimes Amazon does this where you can't copy it. So a workaround for that is to copy it straight from here. Copy image, paste. There we go. There's our little organizational containers and then let's remove that background and then let's find a cute little classroom rug we should write pastel okay I really like this one so we're going to copy this image and paste it in here and now we have our classroom rug let's pull this forward so click position uh, to front. So we've got some bulletin board going on, classroom rug, some organizational pieces, some decor, our color palette. And so this kind of can give us a vibe of like what we're going for in our classrooms. So as we're out finding things or creating things, we have our colors. This is great if you're going to create your own classroom decor using it. Let's actually go to Decorably on Amazon. Okay, let's just look at Decorably's uh, bulletin borders decoration to see if we can find anything that would fit this theme. These would be cute for my theme. There's that construction theme that I'm getting for our hallway or that I got. That one could work. They have such cute little seasonal themes that might work. Ooh, I love that. Let your sparkle shine. So then we can just add this to our board. Yes. Okay. So I don't want, these are the other themes that come with that set or options. So I'm just going to take that right out so that my can be there. So I am going to actually rotate this. So we're going to make this even smaller. So then I can put my let your shine sparkle or let your sparkle shine. All right. So that's like a cute little mood board. So you can get an idea of what you want for your classroom. Be sure that you're subscribed because later this summer, as I head back into my brand new classroom and start setting all this up, you will want to be along for those classroom setup videos. And don't forget to check out all of the Decorably posters and use the discount code RACHELDECOR for a 15% discount. The discount can be applied to all of the products listed in the description. If you're curious to see what my classroom looked like 10 years ago, check out the video that's on your screen now where I share a reaction to what my classroom looked like with lots of chevron.